Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about a technique of integration called U substitution or more formally called the change of variable because it involves changing the variable from whatever it is to some other variable. Alright, so if you look at this integrand here as an example, we have the integral of x times the square root of x squared minus 3. One of the key things, very important here, when you're using the method of U substitution, you have to recognize a function and its derivative existing within the same integrand. In this example, if you take a deep analysis at the two parts, x and the square root of x squared minus 3, you realize that if I take the derivative of what is inside the square root here, x squared minus 3, somehow its derivative includes the x. So what does that mean? x squared minus 3 is the function and its derivative somehow involves the x. So this is the function and x is the derivative. So this is how the method works. I'm going to let u to be equal to the function x squared minus 3. Let's write that beta x squared minus 3. The derivative of this function is going to be 2x and this is the beauty of this method. So I will rewrite this integrand now as the integral of x. I don't substitute for this x because I know it's going to cancel out times the square root of u. Everything under the square root we let it to be u. And then instead of dx, I'll write that as du divide by 2x. So you can clearly see that this x and this x are going to cancel out. So right now I have the integral of square root of u divide by 2. Oh, I can just write a half here with respect to u. So finally I have the integral here, integral of half times square root of u du. This is going to be a half times. Of course, square root of u is the same as u to the power half. So if I increase the power by 1, I'll have 3 over 2. If I divide by 3 over 2, so I'll have 2 over 3 plus a constant. Okay, right. So just remove this here. Alright, so let's continue with this. If I just multiply here, these two cancels with this. I have a third times u to power 3 over 2 plus c, but I'll substitute back for u just to write my answer in the original variable. So our final answer is a third times u. Now u is from here x squared minus 3 to the power 3 over 2 plus c. So don't forget, we always recognize a function and its derivative that exists within the same uh, in function that we want to integrate. Let me show you another example. So for my next example, we will work out the integral. We will work out the integral of x times cosec squared. Uh, sorry, cosec of x squared. Cosec squared, sorry, cosec squared of x squared with respect to x. Now, if you take a, a clear look at this, you realize we have two parts in the integrand. We have x and then we have cosec x squared. If you just take some deeper look at this, you realize that this part here, x squared, if you take its derivative, it's going to give you x. So we have a function and we have its derivative. All right. Once we see that, then we are uh, clear that u substitution is going to be helpful here. So what do we do? We let u to be equal to this. Uh, little function here whose derivative exists. So let u equal to x squared. So the derivative of that is going to be 2x. So I rewrite the integral now as the integral of x. I leave this x here because I know it's going to cancel out times cosec squared of u. Now for dx, I'll write du divide by 2x. I just get that from here, right? So, okay, this is x. Now, this x cancels with this, as you can see. So, I now have the integral of cosec squared u with respect to u, which we already know the integral of cosec squared uh, u is actually negative cot u, right, plus a constant. Uh, I should have written this a half right outside here. So, all right, so I have that there it does not affect the integral all right nice so let's substitute back for u all right this is negative a half cot of instead of u i'll write x squared plus a constant okay 
that's nice let's take another example for my next example i'm going to take the integral of sec squared theta times the square root of tan theta so we integrate this with respect to theta again let's look at this carefully we have one part is sec squared theta another part is square root of tan theta if you look at this what do you think is going to be your value of u all right that's make that to be tan theta because the derivative of tan theta is sec squared theta so we have a function tan theta and its derivative existing within the same integrand so i let u to be equal to tan theta the derivative of u with respect to theta not x okay so that's sec squared theta all right let's do the substitution now i will rewrite the integral as sec squared theta times the square root of u times for d theta, I'll write du out of sec squared theta. That's nice because the sec squared theta always cancels or uh, the variable that we actually don't want always cancels. So I'll have now the square root of u with respect to u. And this we know is u to the power 3 out of 2 because this is u to power half. So I increase this by 1 and then I divide by a half plus 1. So... Uh, if I divide this by 3 over 2, that becomes 2 over 3 plus the constant of integration. It's always nice to put back the original variable. So my integral is 2 out of 3 times u. Uh, I know what the value of u is. That's tan theta to the power 3 out of 2 plus a constant. Okay, I'll just take one more example to sum up all this. So for my fourth example... For my fourth example, uh, all right, so I'll take the integral. Let's take the integral of x squared minus 1 divided by x cubed minus 3x plus 5. All this under a square root. Just draw this better under a square root dx. Now, this is beautiful. So look at this carefully. Look at this carefully. Do we have a function and a derivative? Yes, I think we have that. So we have x squared minus 1 as the numerator. And the denominator is the square root of x cubed minus 3x. The derivative of x cubed minus 3x plus 5 somehow. Okay, this is a 5. Just write that better. The derivative of this function here somehow involves x squared minus something. So let's try to do that. I'll let u to be equal to x cubed minus 3x plus 5. Let's just, just check this. So du over dx is going to be 3x squared minus 3. This is nice because I can factorize out a 3 and now I have x squared minus 1. And boom, this is the function that is on the numerator, right? So in other words, we have a function down here and then we have its derivative, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead now and do the substitution. I'll rewrite the integral. I'll rewrite the integral now as the integral of, okay, so that's x squared minus 1 divided by, everything down here is square root of u. And then instead of dx, I'll write du divided by 3 into x squared minus 1. This is nice because all this cancels with this, so I have the integral of 1 over 3 root u du i can actually write this in a much better way as 1 over 3 times the integral of 1 over the square root of u with respect to u which is 1 over 3 times the uh, the integral of u to the power negative i half du let's integrate this slowly so we have u to the power negative a half plus 1 uh, divided by negative a half plus 1 and that's going to be u to the power a half. Uh, of course, the a half here, if I divide by a half, that's going to be a 2 plus a constant of integration, but we're not done yet. So I've got to put back the uh, the value of u. So for my final answer, I'll write 2, and instead of u, instead of u, I'll have x cubed minus 3x plus 5, all this to the power a half. I could just put that under a root, but let me just write it like this. 
plus a constant c and that's my final solution so thanks for watching this video if you like this and more stuff like this be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and uh, i'll see you in my next video